If you like Chinese takeout food, then you're gonna love my homemade orange chicken recipe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. This orange chicken will be ready before you know it, so let's get started. First off, we're gonna make the sauce and get some oranges out. We're gonna zest them first. I want the zest of about two oranges, and it really depends on the size and how juicy they are, but you'll want a cup of orange juice. Now it's naked, we're gonna give it a cut and get that juice out. This is where a juicer comes in handy. Zest one more orange and continue juicing. The pulp is actually fine in this, so you can go ahead and toss that in. I'm just doing this for seeds. I did some juicing off camera. We're gonna add three tablespoons of soy sauce right now, a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, just a little bit adds a lot of flavor. Half a cup of sugar, gives a little sweetness to the sauce. I had so much fun developing this recipe. One, because I love orange chicken, but two, there aren't really any Chinese restaurants that deliver or have pickups, so had to do it ourselves, and this is so much better than takeout. A quarter cup of rice vinegar. I'm adding a generous half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Stir the sauce together and then we're gonna set it aside. I have a cheat for you. If you wanna add a ton of orange flavor really quickly, just add a few spoonfuls of marmalade. It has the zest, it has the orange flavor, it's a little bit bitter and it's great. Set this aside and there's one more thing for the sauce. We want it to be really like silky, sticky and amazing. So we're gonna make a tiny bit of corn flour or cornstarch slurry. All you need is cornstarch and either water or more orange juice, it's your choice. One tablespoon of cornstarch, in you go, and just mix it up to make a slurry. We're gonna add this in at the very end of the recipe, but it's nice to have it handy. Now we're ready to do the chicken. For the chicken, we're gonna use four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You can, of course, use dark meat if you prefer, and four is kind of a lot of chicken breasts. However, this is so good and so amazing for leftovers that you're gonna to wanna to have a lot of it. When you're cutting the chicken, just think what bite-sized is to you. It might be a little bit smaller or a bit bigger. The only thing you're gonna do is alter the fry time just a bit. Growing up, one of my mom's favorite recipes for dinner parties when she had company was duck a l'orange or canard a l'orange. And this reminds me of the recipe a little bit. It's just the orange flavor and the deliciousness of it. If you wanna have me make that recipe, let me know in the comments. My chicken's all cut up. It's time to set up our dredging station. So before I wash my hands, we need two eggs in a medium sized bowl. And we're gonna give them a little bit of a whisk. <laughs> now we're gonna dump the chicken into our bowl. Get all the chicken immersed in your egg and give it a mix too. It's a little messy, but this is the best way. Now go wash your hands, what? <laughs> Right now I have about an inch of oil in a large pan over medium high heat. A generous half cup of flour in here. We're gonna add half a cup of cornstarch. It's gonna make it really, really crispy when we fry the chicken. Uh, the sauce has a lot of seasoning, but you can also add a little salt and pepper to taste. Well, you're not gonna taste it, but add a little bit of salt and pepper for some extra flavor in there too. Let me know if there are any spices I should try in the comments. All right, give this a good whisk. And now we're gonna go in batches and start frying it up. So um, I like to have a clean hand and a dirty hand for this, to be honest. So I'm gonna have my chicken hand here and this will be uh, for the tongs. So we're gonna add some pieces into the flour, then give it a mix. I always do this in private, so I feel a bit exposed right now with my messy hands. But if you've dredged chicken before, you know it can be quite messy. My oil is dancing and I'm on my last batch of chicken. So shake it up. Give your hands a wash and we're gonna go on to the next step, which is the frying. My oil's at 350 and I'm gonna grab a big pan so I can warm the sauce up. We wanna warm it up as we fry so everything's ready to go at once. Now, let's add the chicken in carefully and I'm using a spider. This is a really helpful tool to have if you do any frying or even for uh, parboiling vegetables. Gently add the chicken in. You'll be making this in batches. Don't try and crowd the pan too much because you'll lower the heat and it'll be soggy and like not great. You want high heat, which means not that much chicken in here. Depending on the size of your chicken, you'll want a couple minutes on either side. You're looking for it to be beautiful golden color and that's how you know it's done. 
I'm gonna transfer the cooked chicken onto a wire rack. You could put them on paper towels or even on a plate. It doesn't matter as much. Once your chicken's golden, we're gonna remove it carefully, place that onto a wire rack, and then just repeat the process. While this fries, we can give our sauce a stir. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. It's so good. And we're gonna place this in a skillet over medium high heat, bring it to a boil, get it nice and bubbly. You can stir the sauce occasionally as you mind the frying chicken. You can do two things at once, it'll be done so quickly. Once your sauce warms up and starts to boil, we're gonna add in all that amazing orange zest, stir it in, it'll release so much flavor, and then add that cornstarch slurry in. Mix that in and then you're gonna cook it until it kind of gets clear and thickens up a bit. It'll be about four minutes, stirring occasionally. In the meantime, this chicken can come out. Bring that big skillet of delicious orange sauce closer to you. And now we're just gonna dump all of the chicken in and mix it up. Depending on when you made the orange sauce, you could place it on low heat just to warm it back up if it cooled down a little bit. Seems a little awkward because I know the pan is over full. All the chicken is gonna be completely coated in orange sauce and you're gonna have a ton of leftovers for tomorrow, unless you have a giant family. <laughs> or you're very hungry. Okay. The last thing to do before serving is to sprinkle in some chopped green onions. These are gonna add just a little bit of color, some bite, and uh, a tiny bit of crunch. Mix one more time and you're ready to serve. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my chicken playlist. Beyond delicious. I'll see you in the next video.